people sometimes uh, don't like snakes and they will uh, do things like swerve their cars to, to hit snakes or uh, do other things to, to harm snakes, but the snakes aren't going to hurt you. Okanagan residents have been spotting snakes slithering through their hiking paths or into their yards, and the Okanagan's Milk Mean Stewardship Society would like the reptiles to be given space. Our snakes that are in trouble are the, the rattlesnake. Um, the, the gopher snake is actually a threatened species. The western yellow belly dracer was just listed um, as a threatened species. Um, there is some concern about the common garter snake and whether or not they're in decline as well. Snakes are protected under the BC Wildlife Act, meaning it is illegal to injure, kill, or remove them from the wild. So you're most likely to see snakes sort of around dawn and dusk. Uh, when it's really hot out like this, they're going to be hidden away in kind of deep shady spots um, because it's, it's actually too hot for them too. Often people will mistake the Great Basin Gopher Snake for the Northern Pacific Rattlesnake since they are similar in appearance. They do intentionally mimic rattlesnakes. So their patterning looks sort of like a rattlesnake um, and they will kind of raise up their heads and they will hiss and they'll even shake their tails a little bit. The Society works on wildlife education, outreach and workshop about snakes, particularly aimed at agricultural workers. Their ambassador snake, Nora, works for all snakes in the region to break stigmas that lead snakes to be harmed or killed. Their helpers are an important part of the ecosystem um, and, and really for all of the snakes, like. They're, they're as shocked to see you as you are to see them, and they just want to want to move away and find a find a hidey hole. For Castanet News in the Okanagan, I'm Casey Richardson.